what's up guys we are back here with another auto auction update man the auctions are pretty much going on sale whenever they want they're changing the days up and everything but we're gonna stick through it keep going and uh keep going hard man i got some harley footage coming to you guys this weekend man so all weekend we're probably gonna go live and stuff we're gonna have this weekend lit for you guys a uh, whole bunch of harley events motorcycle events and then i'm gonna be working on my motorcycle if you guys haven't already please like comment and subscribe and if you guys are looking for a mask i only have like about 25 to 30 left so be sure to click the link in the below visit everythingsregular.com these are ten dollars uh with these you get a free air freshener too so you go ahead and knock out two birds with one stone i appreciate you guys for tuning in let's get right into it now shall we all righty first up guys we got a 2004 honda civic here it does hold a salvage title the whole front end is pretty much whooped 185,000 miles um like i said before guys we don't really buy salvage cars from the public auction um and this one is like looks pretty decent i don't see any airbags or nothing like that it's actually a pretty decent uh Honda, the interior is there, interface, radio, and everything is there. However, when you get to the back, you got some bumper hanging. Um, other than that, really no big deal. Some flat tires, a couple little dings and dents in the side over here. Again, no big issue, um, but it is what it is. It is a salvage title, so I doubt we bid on it. What do you guys think, though? Let me know in the comments below. All righty, guys. Next up, we got a 1998 Honda Accord. Looks like. 174,000 miles. Pretty good looking Honda. I don't believe this one is salvage. Yeah, pretty good looking Honda right here. Uh, I don't see any body damage so far. Does look it might have been like it might have been painted over and they forgot to put like a clear coat on it. Um, It's definitely like a matte type like stony silver. But I mean, it is pretty all right. Got a little ding here. No big deal. 174,000 miles it is a 1998 and it is a honda so you know it does pretty uh run pretty good more or less um everything is intact here everything looks normal i guess got a little tail light that's out no big deal like i said this thing did uh was painted over you got some gaps in the uh trunk here so I'm guessing that's why it was repainted, but it does not hold a salvage title. Uh, we can pop the hood if the hood is open. What's up, man? We can pop up. Oh, hood is locked, so it is what it is. But what y'all think about it, man? Let me know in the comments below. Next up, guys, we got a 2003 Infiniti G35. Looks like 177,000 miles. Does look like they was drag racing a foreign and bashed into a wall thinking this was Grand Theft Auto or something. Man, got a couple little dings on the side, but we'll get back there momentarily. Uh, the hood, let's pop the hood. As bad as it looks, I don't see anything really out of the ordinary. It just looks really, really dirty in here. They never probably cleaned under the hood. And then they wrecked it, of course. But should be a simple fix. I don't see any like radiator support damage or anything like that. So it should be just a matter of getting a new front bumper, maybe getting those fenders to line up. Who knows? Does have the sunroof. Um, other than the front, it does seem pretty fair so far. If you take a look at the inside, you got some beige leather. Interior leather is pretty ripped up. That goes for the front and the back seats. Um, you know, these infinities. Oh, yeah, there it is. Airbag popped out, too. So this one is not salvaged. Hold on. Let's see let's see let's just make sure yeah this one is not salvage but this one is not salvage but it does have a lot of wool damage like the honda doesn't have a uh airbag that's blown but this one's got an airbag that's blown and this one is not salvage you're gonna need a whole a lot of little work on here but it can be brought back to life judging if you really want it or not what do you guys think about it though? Let me know in the comments below. We got a 09 Nissan Altima here. Looks like 167,000 miles. Uh, you guys know these Altimas they have a lot of trans problems, but this looks like it's been sitting a while. Battery has some acid buildup and it has some like coolant crust on it. So who knows if it's uh, overheating or whatever the case may be, but no body damage so far. We can take a quick look at the inside of this car. Like pretty whooped. 
got junk and trash and stuff all over the car of course but all in all everything is intact so if you can get the car for pretty cheap you might be able to uh make some money on it but judging this is probably the best car up here i don't think it's gonna go for that cheap but it is what it is what do you guys think about the nissan ultima though man let me know in the comments below man we got a 2018 chevy colorado here this thing is ice down brand new off the lot i don't know where they left this at or whatever the case was but it's for sure brand new and uh it's here at the auction today so this is going to be a fun little uh car to look at and see how much it goes for i'm thinking maybe somewhere around the uh 15 to 16 maybe even 18 000 mark i'm gonna go 17 17 5 on this one it is a really nice looking truck got some really nice wheels on it everything is pretty much flawless on it brand new uh, i don't know the mileage but it is a really nice looking truck i really wouldn't mind having this lifting it up it's already got the little tow hitch and stuff back there so it is summertime could throw the jet skis on the back pretty nice looking truck pretty nice looking truck man what y'all think about it though let me know in the comments below everything is clean on this joint next up guys we got a 2002 pontiac grand prix 126,000 miles on the dash it is not the gt nor the supercharger i actually think we might have seen this one here last week but uh we can take a quick look at it everything seems to be intact the radio is there seats are okay no big deal um he's sneezing back there we might need to get him a mask but uh no body damage i forget what this one might have sold for last week but it doesn't have any body damage until you come to the front up here. Got a little bumper gappage there. I mean, it is a O2, so it's not gonna be perfect, but if we take a quick look under the hood, everything is there untouched. Actually looks like all the fluids are pretty much filled up, but it is what it is, which I think though, let me know in the comments below. We got a 2013 Cadillac CTS here. Looks like uh, 76,000 miles. It is a uh, type vandalized. Little bit of vandalization. But no big deal. You can easily get that off under the hood and everything looks like it's intact and hasn't been touched. You got a bunch of like spray paint and stuff all over the window and hood. No big deal there. We take a look at the inside. It is pretty flawless. It is nice black leather seats nice back seat everything in here is really good looking um nothing that's out of the ordinary like i said guys it is a 2013 so it is pretty current this would definitely be more worth the money but uh you guys like it i love it and i kind of love this one this one is pretty nice uh, unfortunately it is not the v though but what y'all think let me know in the comments below we don't want the little nissan Sentra. We don't want the Corolla, even though we might be able to get it for cheap. I just don't want it a little bit old for me. The Honda is, is whipped. It's a little whipped. I would say you can bring it back, get some new headlights, fender, uh, 210,000 miles, sunroof. Uh, it's missing a whole shebang in there, man. And I just don't want to deal with that. The whole window is broken out too. We've got a 96 Chevy. Corsica. Haven't seen one of these in a while. These used to always be like uh, under them little monster trucks. 96. Let's see what it looked like. 96. Wow. Kind of looks like those uh, Grand Prix motors. But it is what it is. It's a 96. You can check out the inside really quick. I mean, nothing is really a uh, it's really self-explanatory. It's nothing really special. I actually wouldn't be interested in it. But I mean, if you like the uh, old schools, I love it, man. What y'all think? We got a 2013 Nissan Versa here. It looks like it's definitely uh, was wrecked pretty badly. However, it does not hold a salvage title. So if we get into this, you're definitely gonna need a bumper. It doesn't look, well, actually it does look like the rebar is pushed back just a tad bit um shouldn't be 
too bad i mean it does have 54,000 miles so this will definitely be worth fixing up however you don't know if the transmission is bad let's see if any airbags is out okay so first glance i don't see any airbags out or anything like that steering wheel is intact it does need to be fully detailed which is not a problem but i'm sure once you full, fully detail it wash it up you can easily get this thing fixed and it'll look a lot better so this one might be worth the money if you can get it for like maybe twelve hundred dollars or under um but then that's just me not really like you know looking too far into it i mean everything is there however it is a little bit of gappage there so we'll see if it runs when it comes through the auction it is tied up the hood is tied up so i don't really want to undo the latch but you get what i'm trying to sue but you get what it is man what y'all think let me know in the comments below all righty guys we got the bmw this thing was here like two weeks in a row does have a bad motor it all it came through on a uh it came through on a forklift both times we don't really want the dodge truck the dodge dakota what does this say hose a bad hose and a little saturn maybe an easy fix saturn l300 says it's a bad rod or bad hose or something i'm not really interested in it but it is what it is we don't want the mercury nor the taurus and this mustang was here last week van is whooped super whooped we don't want the pt this van actually might be cool it's a 2012 dodge like grand caravan 173,000 miles pretty uh pretty decent looking whip i guess no body damage take a quick look at the inside of course it's really dirty no big deal. There are row back there. Everything else looks to be intact up here. It does just need to be a uh, detail. And we'll, uh, I guess we'll see if it runs and drives good uh, when we come through the auction later, which we'll be going live at. So make sure you guys tune into that. It is what it is. What y'all think though, man? Let me know in the comments below. Still don't want the Mercury. We don't want the Lincoln Navigator. It has a bad motor anyway. And uh, this one is a Mercury. We're good on that, man. So, And guys, we got a couple of decent looking boats here this week, man. The first one is a 93 Bayliner. This one is uh, not the best looking boat. But I mean, with a nice paint or a nice wrap job, it'll definitely uh, be brought back to life pretty easily. But, uh, you know, it is a Bayliner. Nothing too special about it. I don't see anything that really... You know makes me be like oh yeah that's the one but if we go to the next one over here man we got a 99 maxa marine boat this one is a 99 like a 20 year old boat 21 year old boat type but this thing looks uh still looks kind of current if you ask me does look uh the seats are pretty worn no big deal though um uh, got a few little holes in there so we might need to get a i don't know if this thing is uh worth it. it does have like a few little tiny holes that could be plugged up but it is what it is i don't know it's a bunch of wires and stuff back here who knows if it runs or not uh, it's been sitting outside forever i'm sure yeah mercury motor kind of looks like it's banged up back here or something or whatever the case may be but this thing will go for probably like 100, 200 bucks here today. So you, you guys let me know what you think about it, man. Let me know in the comments below. So alrighty, guys, it's going to be a wrap for today's video, man. If you guys haven't already, please like, comment, and subscribe. If you're wondering what any of these cars are going to sell for, be sure to tune into the live tonight at 6 p.m. We are going live. If you guys need a mask, man, be sure to click the link below. Everything's regular.com. I appreciate you guys tuning in, man. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.